too far out here at Hard Copy, but every once in a while, we should show you what your kids are watching. It's Rock and Roll's latest sex scandal, and our AMG 8's found her right around the corner from Disney World. Yippee! Here I am, Orlando, Florida, home of Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Donald Duck, and all that cool stuff. Everything good about America. But where do they send me? Across the tracks to the other side of Orlando. To a laboratory. Yes. Here alone in a dark lab, I met Jen. She says she doesn't believe in last names. She's a polite 20-something pre-med graduate who spends her days processing human organs for transplants. Corneas are her specialty. Ay, ay, ay. This is some place where we, where we preserve parts, I guess you could say, tissues. And um, this is the place where they're held. From all types of people. Yeah. You yourself might even end up in this refrigerator <laughs> someday, sir. But my boss would never send me to something informative. No. At night, this quiet lab technician transforms herself into a leather-clad heavy metal goddess. Leader of the rock band, the Jenna Torturers. And I wanted to meet Minnie Mouse. Mickey Mouse and the sterility of Orlando fuels our fire to do what we do in terms of breaking those bounds. Because whenever you have an extreme on one hand, you have to have an extreme on the other end to balance things out. Let me ask you this. Um, uh, do you express yourself not only in your music, but your clothes? Obviously. I mean, anyone's outward appearance is, reflects them and who they want to be perceived as an individual. Do I look like a real nerd? Yeah. You <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, Jen isn't your ordinary scream-till-your-veins-bug-out rock singer. She does lab work on stage. And if you don't believe me, watch this. I went beyond the call of duty. I put in my earplugs and managed to get into a club where the band was playing. Look, man, I'm just a nerd, okay? I'm just a nerd. For this, I skipped It's a Small World exhibit. When you walk away, you feel something. And it's then in your court to evaluate your feelings understand why you may have felt exhilarated, may, maybe you felt titillated, maybe you were disgusted. The point is you felt something. Sheesh, it's hot in here. I should have worn a rubber suit. So we have our new recruits tonight. Then the show started. Now you won't believe what they did. Well sure, they made a lot of noise. Then they put a guy in a cage and on a rack, like in the movies. And then she did an ear piercing act except she didn't pierce ears. And she did it to more people from the crowd. No way, boss. Sorry. Uh-uh. No way. No one's touching these lobes. No siree, Bob. But here's the really weird part. After the show, folks loved it. They acted like they just got off the ride at Space Mountain. Yeah, I missed that ride, too. When we watch the show, it's like we can do whatever we want to. And nobody can tell us that we can't. No, no, how we have to be inhibited about our sexual ways, the way we are. How society sees that long, and that we can't just be open about the way we are. I wonder if Barbara Walters started this way. It isn't an act. This is an That's integral part of our existence. We can explore our bodies and use our bodies as a means of obtaining a spiritual nirvana. I was a nerd, just like you are. An egghead and a nerd. Was, I was someone that, that education was always very import, important to me. I, 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 I'm someone that likes constant stimulation, and I like mind stimulation. I like, I like reading. I like anything that's going to stimulate my mind. And that's why when I get on stage, I use that, that part of me, to go out and to stimulate people and to cause them to think and to challenge them to think. Have mom and dad come to your show? Sure. And what, is, what does mom say? <laughs> what does mom say? Well, mom says that, um, that they're, my parents are proud of me, whatever I choose to do. So there it is, the hottest rock band in America. You know, maybe I was too hasty. I wonder how I'd look with a pierced ear. Probably pretty snazzy. 
like a pirate of the Caribbean. Now, before you say anything, remember how many times your parents said to you, how can you listen to that stuff?